Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and today's video is, as you saw in the thumbnail and as is on my face as always, it's the look that I'm wearing um, and how I picture this look, it's like a sultry kind of smoky emerald eye. So I thought this look would actually be perfect, um, you know, for the Friday because a lot of people like to go out on a Friday, whether it is out at a club or out for dinner. And this is just perfect because one, it is actually very easy to accomplish no matter what palette you have or colours that you use. It's the blending in there and um, which, oh, it's the blending in the certain colours that you might pair with each other. So as you will see in the video, um, I actually use a palette that isn't, uh, it's no longer created, but does not mean you can't find a similar at least a similar shades because so this is a NYX one uh, a NYX palette and the only shadows that I used was mainly this green one here and that is what is all over the lid and then this one here just for an inner corner highlight um, so any sort of shimmery green that you have would work perfectly um, you don't need a particular palette to create some of these looks and as for my transition shades I actually use the same as what I use for my contour um, and the reason why I did that is because I wanted to uh, sort of create a new crease for myself because I have hooded eyes so it gives the appearance that I have like larger um, eyes and, and you know a crease area <laughs> um, and so I just use my normal contour palette and this one is the Revlon Sculpted Highlight and so I just use that this contour one down here. All right, so to get you guys going and into the rest of the video, we're gonna end it here and I will see you guys in a second or two. So before I started filming, I did actually do the other eye. So I'm just gonna walk you through the process now. Um, I didn't wanna use too many actual eyeshadow palettes or um, many different eyeshadows. So I opted today to first start out that whatever contour colour you're using, just go in with that for your transition. And I wanted to do that because I wanted to define out my non-existent crease because I have hooded eyes. So I just wanted to define that more. So I've just got like a, mine's an angled fluffy brush, but it doesn't have to be. Going in with that. And I'm sort of starting in the centre area and tapping. And then the shape that I'm trying to create is going to be more of a rounded shape and then slightly out into that um, outer area for a kind of wing effect but not a wing effect. So that's all I'm doing, just patting it in and then bringing it to the inner corner and then patting it still to this outer corner here. And then eventually I'll start tapping it out here. So now with a smaller rounded tip brush and with any green shade that you feel like you want to use. So I have this NYX palette that I definitely know is not created anymore because it was like a partner with a YouTuber many years ago. But I love the shades in this so much and I love in particular this green kind of emeraldy shade. 
So we're going to use that. And again, the same motion I was just doing, I'm going to tap it in and then using the tapping motions to blend it out instead of using, using swirling motions. So essentially, regardless of whether it looks messy or not, it will come together, so trust the process. I just wanted to place the product where I want it to be seen with my eyes open. Because I have the hooded eyes, I always bring it up above where my actual lid ends. Um, so obviously it gives that illusion that my lid is higher. Like I don't have the extra skin, the extra hood. So I'm just going to add a little bit more colour around where it seems to be a little on the sparse side. And I just wiped off any excess I had on the brush, so I'm just going to use the colour that's there now, patting that the edges to start smoothing that out now. If you want to start to swipe, you can also do that. Okay, so I know it looks pretty scary, but like I said, things will come together. Going in with this smaller, with a small uh, round domed brush. Again, in with the original shade that we used, which was the um, contour shade. Go under the lash line. And then with that original brush that had the green on it, start putting just a small amount of green on that lower lash line. Now I'm just going to go in with a cotton tip and some micellar water to clean up that fallout from the bottom and this is why I've obviously done the eyeshadow before I've done the face.
and then don't forget to blend out that harsh line before you do foundation otherwise that line is going to show up underneath that foundation using a clean small brush for that inner corner highlight and the shade that we're using is this one here in the palette that nice pink um, iridescent sparkly shade Okay, so I'm pretty much done with that, but I just want to put some mascara and eyelashes on as well as the rest of my face. I'm going to be back really quickly. Um, and then if I'm still like unsure about the eyes, I will just go in and touch up, which I'll show you that on camera. But otherwise, I'll be back in just two seconds for you guys. Okay, so now this is the rest of the face done. The only thing left is that I just wanted to, nothing fancy on the lips, I'm just going to use one of my lip balms on there. Because it keeps it a little bit more on the natural side. And it's not a, it's not a colour that's going to contradict with the green that we've got. Since I put the eyelashes on, I haven't done anything except I just um, just sort of softened like one of the edges that was over here, and that was it. Um, so when it comes to um, you working with some dark shadows or um, ones that are more prone to fall out and things like that, I would highly suggest that you do your eyes before your face, clean up um, any fallout that you have, and sometimes like, if you don't think that the look um, or the eyeshadow is looking at its best maybe just sometimes like wait put some mascara on put some lashes on see how it looks then and then once you have those on you can actually see whether that does work or not and in this circumstance I was a little worried about um, like I guess the the blending the edges the creases um, like up here towards that brow area for me that it might be too harsh but then the moment I put eyelashes on because the eyelashes are quite long and come up I did find that I actually had nothing to worry about in the end because it turned out quite well okay so on that note obviously this is a slightly shorter one you know it's a Friday so I didn't want to overwhelm anybody like this is still like a very lovely glamorous like kind of sultry um, emerald look that you can wear like whether you're going out um, going out for dinner club etc it's perfect for those things without going too heavy as in too much makeup like this is still minimal makeup or minimal eyeshadow stuff for doing that um, and so I just wanted to say thank you for watching so far I hope you enjoyed this one and as always I'm gonna see you guys in the next video bye